What's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the latest and greatest uh, Apple Watch OS 6.2.1 that was just released. Now, Watch OS 6.2.1 brings a lot of new features, uh, and in this video, I'm just going to be going over everything that it has to offer. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into this video. So to start off, what we can do is actually go into the Watch app. And once you're in the Watch app, we can go into General, and then we can go into Software Update. And then we'll check for the software update. And then you can see that I'm on Apple Watch OS 6.2.1 and that my software is up to date. And I can go straight on into the settings. Once I'm in the settings, I can go into general software update. And then the Apple Watch is up to date. And I can go into about. And once I'm in about, I can scroll down and you're going to see that I'm on uh, and then you can see that I'm on watchOS 6.2.1 and the build number is 17T530 to be exact. Uh, so you can see you have all that information. Now, in terms of what's new with watchOS 6.2.1, well, the major and main improvement uh, is that there's been some small improvements and bug fixes, but the main one is that it fixes an issue where devices running watchOS 6.2 could not participate in FaceTime audio calls with devices running iOS 9.3.6 and earlier Mac OS 10 El Capitan 10.11.6 uh, and earlier. So there is no way to do FaceTime audio calls. And there is also no way to do FaceTimes on the iPhone on iOS 13.4. Uh, so that's why they introduced iOS 13.4.1. Now, same with the iPad. That's why they introduced iPad OS 13.4.1. And they also did it with the Mac where they released a new supplemental uh, OS software upgrade. Uh, so you can see that this has been quite a problem now uh, and they finally had to do a bug fix on it to fix the Apple Watch as well. Now taking a look at how big the software update is, it's only 47.4 megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 4, just a very small update overall, but it's good that it brings you the ability to use FaceTime audio again with older devices. So it's good that you can use FaceTime with older devices now, including the iOS and Mac devices. Uh, and there's just overall just some small patches. The Mac OS update to be exact is 10.15.4. Uh, so that's the supplemental update. Uh, so there's no real changes to the battery or speed on the Apple Watch. So it's still roughly the same uh, and you can see it's just as fast as it was. And the overall battery is basically the same, so there's no real differences other than that FaceTime audio bug fix that was introduced uh, with this uh, watchOS 6.2.1 update. Now, I would like to show you this app as a bonus. This integrates into the Apple Watch very well. Uh, so you can see it's called Watchsmith, and it gives you customization uh, to your Apple Watch uh, more than it already uh, brings. So you can see that it has a lot of great features. You can see you can change in infograph circle, the style, the calendar, the activity, the weather, the location, uh, the top color, the bottom color, the background color, uh, the style. Uh, so you can change each and every intricate part of it. And this app is just certainly immaculate to say the least. So there's just a lot of customization options, the weather, the location, the managed locations. This has a 4.1 rating in the App Store it's called Watchsmith, uh, so I highly recommend that you go ahead and check out the Watchsmith app out. Thanks for watching this video on Apple Watch OS 6.2.1. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so know you watch. Also, be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for these Apple news reviews and more. Like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AppleCritics. Follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash AppleCritics. And also, follow me on Instagram at Instagram.com slash AppleCritics or at AppleCritics. And once again, Thanks for watching and subscribe for more great content.